That's what many people think the Christian gospel is, don't they? I'm not surprised the people are outside the church today. You see, they only think of Christianity in terms of what they read in the newspapers and what they hear on the television and the wireless, the great ecclesiastics and others, and this is what they find. They say Christianity is a form of protest against war. Christianity is nothing but a political and a social movement. Christianity is that which is opposed to the war in Vietnam, it's opposed to apartheid in South Africa, it's opposed to capitalism and militarism. This is Christianity. They say that seems to be it, that's what we're always reading about. A perpetual protest against this, that, or the other. But you know that's a travesty of Christianity. That's not Christianity. Paul doesn't mention these things. He doesn't mention the injustice from which he was suffering. He doesn't make any attack on the Roman government, nor on the governor. None of these things. There is no protest here at all. What did he preach about? Now, here's the message of Christianity. He reasoned with them about righteousness and temperance and judgment to come. What's this mean? Oh, that we might realize that this is the greatest need in this country and every other country tonight. I haven't come here, my dear friends, to tell the government what to do about the pound. It would be impertinent for me to pretend to attempt to do so. I don't know enough. I'm not here to give advice to governments or to leaders, prime ministers or leaders of the opposition, or to express my personal views on apartheid and all these various other matters. That's not the Christian message. The Christian message is a message about righteousness. Righteousness. 